Let's do it. The new movement. DJ Drewski in the building. Viciani's pulled up. Yes, sir. Yes, the, the, sir. The last time you was in, in here, you was um shot the class murder. You came with class. Yeah, shout out to my brother, man. Big BGM, man. And I, and I love the fact that certain people know they timing. Absolutely. Like, right? Where you have people that just say, yo, I'm here. I'm going to talk about myself. But you say, yo, right now ain't about me. Yeah, yeah. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. That's a fact. I waited. I definitely waited. Right. And, and it was, it, that shows character. Absolutely. Right? Like, absolutely. Now, looking at it, I said I could respect that thousand times more than someone, you know, because you, you know, yo, my opportunity is going to come. Mm -hmm. My time is going to come. Yeah, hell yeah. And, hell yeah. And your talent clearly speaks for itself. Thank you, bro. And I feel like when somebody has talent that they believe in, they ain't have to, they don't got to rush it. Absolutely. Right, so when yeah, we, that, that, that's perfect. You said that shit perfect, bro. And it, it's real. It is what it is. Like, when we, now you, we go listen to the, 105 freestyle. Mm -hmm. You say, oh, shit. Like, yeah, he could do the drill records. He could mm -hmm. do the party joints. Mm -hmm. But he's walking on these... On these freestyles. Right, on these freestyles, and you got something to say. Absolutely. I'm talking about something. That's, yeah. that's, I think that's what's going to separate me, too. And, and you say a lot in your music, and I want to tap into that because you kind of give us your life and your experiences, and people can relate to it, or they somehow, in some way, can relate to it. So I want, like, when did you start actually doing music? When was it? Because you, you speak a lot about going to jail. You speak a lot yep. about your family. Yep. And it, it's beautiful. But as far as the music goes, when did it kick in? Like, yo, I'm, I'm going to do this for real. Right. So I, I started making music. I was probably like 11 years old. My oldest, my oldest brother, he owned a, a big studio in Rochester. So I was, I was recording. I, he had me in the studio recording. Right when he, he had caught me in my room writing rap. So he just took me to the studio. I've been rapping ever since though. So in my in my town, I, I made a name for myself. Right. Just to, just being able to rap. You know what I'm saying? Just battle rapping and, and shit. And then, but I always knew how to make songs though. Mm -hmm. So that kind of separated me from the battle rappers. A lot of times, artists like you just said, you made a name for yourself in in your town, and they start feeling themselves. And I seen you say it somewhere like, "Yeah, that's cool, but." I that local shit ain't it. Yeah, that shit ain't it. I don't even like to get mentioned in them shits. Like, I say that the shit all the time. top five in Rochester. I don't like, care about that shit, bro. <laughs> I don't, man, y'all could keep that shit. I don't, like, I tell them all the time. I'm like, yo, I, I get more streams in New York City than I do in Rochester. Like, it's so small. And it's cool. This is where I'm from. You know right. what I'm saying? And I, it, it's always good to be, you know, talked about and, and mentioned in of your course. city, of course. You know, I don't want to put it like that. But I just don't want y'all to think so small. You got to think on a, on a larger scale, man. This shit. This shit is way bigger than Rochester, man. We gotta get, we gotta get known. You gotta move. You gotta move. Right. Yeah, this shit gotta be global, man. Cause sometimes artists could get caught up in that hype and feel like, yo, I'm the hottest in my city, and then twenty years go by and you realize, damn, I'm just, I was the hottest in my city. I never used that to get up out of here. Yeah, absolutely. Cause once you got the city behind you, it's like, all right, now when other people come to your city, mm -hmm. that's what you use it for. It's like you know, like 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 how Meek like how Meek Mill shit was. Right, right. You see, Ross came to Philly, and he like, man, Philly, what's up, man? Who popping well, in Philly? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that, that that's when it means something. It's like all right, like, but but once you get so big in, in your town, you wanna you wanna expand. You supposed mm -hmm. to expand. So I, I, you know, my target right now is New York City. So do you feel like you started doing the music thing, and then I feel like you could break it down, but you get knocked. You have to go sit down for a while. Yeah. How old were you at that time? Because I know I was, you said your kids was like young. Yeah, yeah. So my kids was, I was, my my son, I literally just, well, my daughter was born while I was in prison. You see, I said that. I right. helped my daughter for the first time and stayed grand. But you was 15 years old when you had your first? Yeah. I was your 15 first years daughter. old. When I was, yep, when I had my first daughter, man. I had my first daughter at 15 years old, bro. Right. Yeah, and, and I, you know, it's. I speak about everything in my music. I swear, bro. Like you listen to my album, you uh, the next time you meet me, you'll be like, "Then I know everything about this nigga." No, even just in the like listening to the music. Usually, if I do an interview, I gotta search for everybody's info. Mm -hmm. You you just gotta listen to your music. Yeah, I know absolutely. you had a daughter at fifteen. I know you've been locked twice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, uh, I know yeah. you got multiple kids. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I know sure you lost God. people to the streets. Yeah, like it's a lot. So, at fifteen, you have a daughter. Was was music still your priority at that time? Yeah, music was my priority. You know, you know where I, you know where I, I feel like this is why I, I tell the the younger niggas that's coming up, man, that just to learn the business. I know everybody want to make music because mm -hmm. I was so eager to make music. It was like, all right, everybody know I'm hot. I can make music. Right. 
But then it gets to a point where, nigga, I'm going broke trying right. to make this music. I ain't trying to make no money <laughs> off this shit. You get what I'm saying? So once I learned that, it was like, yo, man, it's a lot of money. Like, yo, bro, you don't have to be a superstar to make some money off of music. That's a fact. It's people that y'all never heard of in y'all life, man, cashing checks, man. People y'all never heard of that's making buku cash and making a living off mm. of music. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's when I'm just like, yo, this is this is what we got to tap into. Like, when I sat down, all I did was read mm-hmm. about streaming. Are you doing this while you were in jail? While I was in jail. Word. How, how long was that bid? That, cause I, I said, did five years. I just did I just did a five-year bid in prison okay. just now, and I just came home from that five. And this is, and I just, I, the whole time, all I did was read. Just read about the streaming, because before I left, um... The streams wasn't popping as much. As, right, right, right. Like, when I came home, it was like a new world of streaming. So I'm like, yo, I got to tap into this. So the whole time I was gone, all I did was read. Mm-hmm. I literally just had a game plan to come home. And I once I learned, yo, I can make this amount so much off of, off of these streams, and I get paid this amount from these people, this amount from these people. I'm just trying to tap into every ref. Right. And these young niggas, they not really tapped into it. And you got to just teach them the game. Because you, know, you don't want to be – that's where they mess up, man. That's where they mess up. Cause that's where you, I messed you say, up. You say it in the record too. Like they yeah. ain't got no guidance. Yeah, they need guidance. That's what they need. Oh, you know, the young niggas need the guidance, man. The guidance they getting now is is is, is bad. Right. I and don't think they taking the guidance. I feel like they guiding each other, and and nobody knows what's going on. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. But you you I want to go back to like you said that five year stretch you learning about streaming because you said yo I turned my cell into my office <sighs> instead of getting was, institutionalized and mm-hmm. you know. Not focusing on when I come home, I'm gonna be smarter. You you did that, like yo. Absolutely, yeah. Wow. That's that was that was big for me, cause I I'm like yo. I um uh, I love that line, bro. That's crazy. You said that. That's like my favorite line. Like and that shit was for real. Like that shit is I hard. God, like I hard. got I got niggas from Queens, niggas from Harlem, niggas from the Bronx, niggas from every borough. Man, <laughs> you ask any nigga that know me, I swear to God, they gonna stand on that. They gonna be like mm-hmm. yo, homie was in, man. I was in the same the same crib as him. Son right. was man. Son be at the table, all different type of streaming books and all that. Man, son was and I go to the yard and it's like it's it. Man, who want what? Man, I'm the best here. Like that's what I was mm-hmm. on. Like you know what I'm saying? Like we be there just I'm 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 better than anybody here. Like let's go. Right. I'm with it. But you know at, at back 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 in the back in the crib, I'm telling you, I just be reading and learning the business. That's all I wanted to do was learn it because I knew I knew I got the talent. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I know that. And that shit is in my heart. I know that. Like, I know that. I'm confident in that. Like, yo, I'm nice. If you put me in a room with the right people, I'm going to do it. I'm going to move the room. I'm going to make people understand, like, what, what I'm trying to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, Did I you create, like, a, a name, like, in the yard, like, yo, V get busy? Oh, my God. Like, they knew, bro. like, yo, so he look, gets busy. So, look, in the yard, right? In the yard, they was calling me Blaze. Everybody called me Blaze. <laughs> bro, I was, I, 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 no, no lie, bro. I ain't take an L up top. No mm. lie. You could man, ask anybody. I was up there with the best of them, man. Like, I was, every 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 spot I went to, I took the spot. Every, every spot I went to. Going uh, look, crazy. Blaze, Blaze from The Rock, I, I'm telling you. Everybody like, yo, right. this nigga is just snapping. I go to the yard, and then it would be a nigga like, yo, I'm saying I don't battle rap. All right, well, fuck it. Let's start beating on this table, nigga. I can harmonize, too. Come on. We go song for song. Mm. <laughs> so, yo, this nigga crazy. You, nah, I love this shit, though. This really where my heart at, though. I love making music. Man. Do you feel like the music helped you pass that time, that five years? Like, it, what got you through that to um, keep you motivated to come home with I, that energy? I think, I think my, my team, my team, my family, because um, they was, you know, it was, it was, it was like, like I said, like, I wouldn't have had them books if I ain't had a right, somebody sending support them. system. Like, right. you know, I had people sending me books and sending me things and and actually going to look things up for me mm. the stuff that i ain't understand you know what i'm saying like I, stuff i ain't understand i need them to yo look this up tell me what this mean like what what the hell is this and then my team you know my um g team uh diddy and ream um just dumb dumb being it because i wouldn't have been able to do it without the support system i really had something to look forward to i wrote them a letter about um starting to like to entertain it like yo we right. gotta start bringing people to rochester like we got the clout. We already got the clout. Let's start bringing them. And I swear to God, man, by the time I came home, off that one letter, bro, off the one letter, like I said it in that freestyle. I wrote that letter to Diddy and inspired my niggas. Right. So off that, bro, my niggas is bringing everybody to Rochester. Like whoever mm. come to Rochester, but they most likely booking through RMG, like RMG booking them. 
Right. You know, so it's it's it's, it's a beautiful thing, man. And, and it's part of the marketing. It's part of the formula. Absolutely. Like you said, Ross had to go to Meek, Meek Hood to see what was going on. Mm-hmm. So part of the formula that people don't realize or get, like sometimes until you up, you got to bring the people that's up to come see what's going on. Absolutely. Without fucking it up, too, because you said recently it was something similar to that type of situation. Mm-hmm. And they go ahead and fuck it up and then... Yeah, yeah, exactly. See, yeah, yeah, right. like, like that saying? situation. That situation was good. Like, like even even just recently, like, like they don't um like my niggas they got a, a good relationship with bag, with mm. money bag. Right. Like, it's 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 nothing but genuine. Right. Like, I was I was with bag like this. I'm talking like, and I just came home, and like they know who I am. They know who my right, son right. is. They know my son play football. Right. All that. They just like yo, like it was it was genuine. You know what I'm saying? I think that's like that's dope. Like, you know what I'm saying? For us to be building relationships or even me sitting here with you. Right. It's like, yo, damn, like, you know, I came here and this was awful. I, I came here with Murder mm. on Murder Run. Like, Murder just dropped this album and I sat back like, yo, nigga, this bro, this bro turn. You know what right. I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's, it's going to help me. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what we do. The team, we're we just going to help each other. We're going to feed off each other and we're going to put each other in a position to win. That's what it's all about. Th- that's definitely what it is. Because I honestly think, like, yo, if I wouldn't have came here that day with Murder, like uh, and and played it the way I played it, I probably right, right, wouldn't have been here. You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? Like exactly the way I put, uh, and, that, and that's just me being honest. And it, it played out the way it's supposed to. Yeah, absolutely. Right, and shout out to your little man because you mentioned him playing football, going yeah. crazy on the field. When you came home, I love the fact how you surprised them. Like, oh man, you know what I'm saying? There's no crazy, other feeling. Man. It had to be an amazing feeling. That shit was amazing. When he jumped in your arms, yeah. like, you know what I'm Yo, saying? I go back. I watch that video all the time. Yo, whenever I feel like I'm doing too much, right? Like, you know how you start to lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I Focus. always go back. Like, I go back to pictures of uh, uh, her coming to see me. Right. Uh, 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 my baby coming to see me. Like, I just go back to my click clicks. Like, damn, son, they were traveling five hours, bro. Snowstorms. Mm. Just to come see me or just to come bring me uh, 30 pounds of food, make sure I got my food and shit like that. Right. Shit like that, you got like, you need a reminder sometimes because you get lost up and this shit, shit, shit going on good yeah, for yeah, you, you yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? So I always just try to go back to that, man, because that, that feeling right there, but he lived with me, man. I got him, man. That's my heart. So How old is he now? He 11. 11 years old. 11 years old, man. Are you, clearly he's in the videos, you, you know, you have him around, but do you feel like you allow him to see... Like, you know, because in four years, at 15, was the same age you had your first daughter. Yep. Like, yep. I let him see everything. Like, I I really put him, um like, he would have been here. Like, I bring him right, right. Bro, I bring him in the studio. He Like I said, he come to all my videos. He play a role in all my videos. Um, He record my music. I got a studio downstairs in the basement, man. Right. I be having him down there. Yo, I just messed up, man. Copy, uh, delete this. Come on, I'm about to do it again. Like, I have him. But you know him, he like, he love music. And he mm. got an ear for music. So I ain't gonna lie, all the new music I of course, hear, it gotta go through. It him. come from him, bro. And okay. and bro, he I swear, like yeah, <laughs> you gotta hear him. He be like, nah, nah, that that ain't it. That ain't it. Your voice, you gotta do something different with right. your voice. Or, Change the tone, Dad. Uh, yo, for real, I'm telling you, he like he got a he got an ear for music, and it's dope. You know what I'm right. saying? But the fact that you keep him around, you understand it, right? Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. like I'm dad. I know everything. Oh nah, yeah. You got I respect one a good support team. And the heirs mm-hmm. to have a fifteen-year-old daughter, eleven-year-old son. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's important. Absolutely. And you, man. how you utilize it. Yeah. And you, I, know. you know what? You know what I think is the the, the best though. Um. Not everybody don't agree. Like you know what I'm saying? Like niggas ain't afraid to disagree. Right. Right. Me, right. Man. I love that man. Like I embrace that. I talk about that a lot. Like they ain't afraid to disagree with me, bro. Mm-hmm. Like they'll call me right now. Like man. Hell nah, nigga. You better not do that shit. Like right. that you ain't said it. some bullshit. Like I'm telling you, bro. Like, and that's that's what I love. Like, you know, I hate I like I like you need that. You need that around you. You need 100%. somebody to tell you, like, yo, man, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want anybody to agree with me all the time. Like Right. <laughs> like, so when you when you put out this new project, balance, mm-hmm. things like fifteen records on it. Yeah. When y'all going through the music, who's in the room? Who's disagreeing? Uh, who's agreeing? I'll tell, tell you it's me. Um <laughs> My son, <laughs> me, my son, uh, Reem, Diddy, and Murder. Cause mm-hmm. um, actually, when we did Rolling Loud, um, we was listening to it. 
The whole time. The whole time. I'm playing them all the songs. I'm playing them all the songs. At that time, it wasn't out yet? It wasn't out yet. It wasn't out. We was putting together the track list. Got you. Um, we was stuck. Murder wanted uh slide tonight to be my to be my intro, and and like I see she like that. Right, like, right. Like everybody disagree with murder. Like hell nah, nigga, you tripping. Right. Murder like nah, nigga, that's that jail shit. I'm telling you, they gonna go crazy for that. And we all like nah, man, we can't start. It's called balance, bro. <laughs> we gotta give them some. We gotta give them some. Uh, we gotta give them some real authentic, like some right. real shit, like yeah, yeah, hell yeah, though. That, that was that was like the process of it though. It was like five of us, and then my son. You know, my son, he calling. He calling to make sure I put certain songs on there. Like, nah, this got to go on there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he A&R in a project. Nah, for real, though. The, the title of the project is called Balance. What does that mean for you as uh, far as, like... For me, um, it was just it was just finding time for everybody. Like, that's mm-hmm. important to find a time for the things that's that's important to me. And and because, cause, you know, coming home, I'm trying to, like, make up the time that I missed right. with my family. But I still want to chase my dreams. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. I still want to... I still want to win, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I still want to be the breadwinner. I am the breadwinner, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, but I still just, it's just trying to find time, man, for all of them. It's harder. It's hard, though. I ain't going to lie. It's hard. I struggle with it. Still? It, still yeah, still to this day. At home, how long? Like a year and a half? Yep, like a year and a half, man. And it's and still, I still hard, too. I still struggle with it. It's like, yo, but now that, um, I think it's just communicating, though. Mm-hmm. Like, I just got to communicate it and all that. Like, I talked to my daughter about it. I talk to them about this shit. They know what's up. They know right. I'm here. They shooting text messages and all that. They be tapped in. And they watching dad's videos and yeah, man, I running got around text. school. Like, man, I'm freestyling dad. on the radio yesterday, man. They was shooting me text messages <laughs> during the whole thing. Like, oh, you doing good. You doing good. <laughs> I'm sure that's motivation, though, for you as nah, an yeah. artist. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, sure. Not just as a, a father, but as an artist to see, yeah. like, yo, you know, even you've been doing it since, whatever, 11 years old, but... To still be doing it today and be relevant in these kids' lives and like they proud of you is like, yeah, I, I got something to prove. Yeah, and that's 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 what I do it for. I mm-hmm. swear to God, that's they give me my motivation. This is this is uh I I know it's gonna happen, man. I'ma just keep grinding, just keep keep putting in this work, man, and keep uh keep showing them the way. That's all I gotta do. Right. That's I'm your doing, job I'm at this point. I'm doing it right, yeah, for sure. And and you use your voice for for a good cause, right? It's like mm-hmm. We was talking about. It. He said you did an interview before this, and they brought up the whole drill thing. And and you have the kids that are dying are like fifteen, yeah. seventeen, eighteen. Yeah. It's the age of your daughter. Yeah, for real. Over nothing. For nothing. For nothing. Just being followers. It's just like, and then like you know, like people, man, these drills. <laughs> I get it, cause it's like you know the the like dissing the dead and all that. It's like right, right. you got niggas dissing the dead that ain't even like that. Like mm-hmm. you got niggas dissing the dad or saying they smoking on niggas and well y'all niggas ain't smoke nobody you smoking on who I don't get it I don't right. understand it just like y'all y'all say shit cause it's cool y'all think it's cool but in all reality you can't come back from that like you can't come back from right. saying something like that you know what I'm saying like I can't even imagine a nigga saying he's smoking on my brother and you don't even know him like but you don't even it's know it's not him. even real beat like, it was it's, it's gonna be smoke forever behind that right. I don't see how a nigga can even play like that I don't get it. I don't get it. It's the same shit. It's just crazy. Right. I don't get it. And come, cause it, it, we need people like you, right? That have that experience. That you, you did time. You around real gangsters, and I'm trying to explain a real gangster don't condone the the unnecessary nonsense. Yeah, but then again, it's like it's a spin on that, cause it's right. like, nigga, it's real gangsters in prison that be like, nigga, I caught a body. That shit wasn't gangster. I moved that, off exactly. emotion. I did that shit off of motion. Nigga, I'm spending the rest of my life in prison because I did some shit that off my emotion. That's like, what, I'm, what I'm saying. I'm saying like, like, yeah, that ass, though. It's niggas in there <laughs> that wish they never did what they did. So right. They, and, and believe it or not, the life is, is the niggas that be preaching the niggas in prison. Mm-hmm. Them niggas come in there like, yo, man, listen, this ain't right. it. Trust me. Bro. You got another chance. You got another chance, homie. I ain't never going home. Word the mother. Them niggas will tell you, bro, I ain't never going mm-hmm. home. Nigga, I ain't got another shot of this shit. You got another shot. You got to make that shit count. Right. Can't be, yeah, like, the <laughs> game twisted, though, Juicy, man. It is. Though, I know. It's twisted. I know. It's twisted, man. And that shit, believe it or not, though, I could, like, honestly, I don't think that shit going to stop, bro. Right. It's, it's, it's too much out there. And that's what's saying. And you, you, know, you, know what's, you know what's crazy about it? It's just what's selling. Mm. It's what's selling. You think that's an issue? It's because it's selling? Yeah. They go. It, it ain't going to stop because it's selling. Right? So it's like, nigga, 
I could go say some crazy shit, diss mad ops, and <laughs> say I'm smoking on this nigga and that nigga, and them labels going to come see me. Right. They're going to come see me because my record is making noise and the record is regular, Streaming but I'm just saying mad shit. I'm just saying mad disrespectful shit. Mm. Them, them record labels is going to come see me, so uh, why wouldn't? Why would I stop doing that? Right. It's a spin on that shit, too. It's like, damn, that's what the, that's what the people want to hear. Mm. And that's what the youth want to hear, too. No, right, right. No, nothing. You know what I'm saying? They love like, it. They enjoy yeah, it. Bro, Entertainment. Little niggas, man, you ride through them little, all them little niggas listening mm-hmm. to that drill shit. That's right. what they listening to. That's what they want to hear. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's, mm-hmm. it's, I don't know. It ain't going to stop, man. I, I Honestly, I, I can say that. I don't think that shit going to stop, man. I don't think it's going to stop, bro. We can only do our part. And that shit, preach. though, you as, can... long as, as, long, as long as we doing our part and we standing on our business, right. ain't nothing that, you know. Ain't nothing we could do about it. It's just, you know, you just, just gotta keep just pray for these. For but I'm rocking, for I'm rocking with you though. I, you know, right. uh, the shit, the shit you just did, it, it was dope, mm. and that, that's gangster. That's gangster. It, 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 like, and it, it comes from an artist standpoint. Like I don't want to see y'all uh, hurt each other. As an artist, you're already a target, right? No matter what level. As soon as you say I'm an artist and you're getting some clout, you a target on both ends. So now that you a target in the street, you a target from law enforcement, and you just indicting yourself, incriminating yourself by putting, you know what I'm saying, putting real business in your music, not thinking, you thinking as an artist, oh, like you said, it's going to get me hot, I'm going to get signed, I'm going to get, but then it backfires when yeah, that shit when they ready bad. for you. That sh- and I ain't going to lie, lately it's been, it's getting It's bad. OD. Like, they just it's indi- OD. They indicting niggas off the music, bro. Right. That's what that I'm trying to explain. Spooky. Like, if you don't put it in the music, you won't get, get indicted off of it. Just, Use it the right way. There's ways to make great records. For example, your records. They're yeah. good records. Thank you. And you ain't have to... You talking your truth. Yeah, I'm talking my truth. And like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a real nigga, bro. I done been, I've been in the streets. I've right. been in the streets my whole you life, You don't really bro. have nothing to prove, yeah, and you still not... I don't got not... nothing to prove. Right. I'm going to stand on my business, man. And ain't nobody going to say nothing, nothing otherwise. Mm. I'm going to stand on my business. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get it. It's just uh, right. uh, that that whole uh, it's, it's, it's another gonna figure should, itself yeah, out. It's it gonna got figure to. itself it got out. To. Cause you know, it gotta get worse before it gets better. Yep. And I think we at that point. Balance is out right now. Absolutely, man. Go stream that, man, on every platform, man, right now, man. Balance, man. V Ciani, man. Go follow me, man, on Instagram, V dot C I A N N I I V Ciani on every platform, man, every social media outlet, man. Now outside of the music, what's up with the the drip, because I see in the videos, I see yeah. Rich, I see... Uh, yo, shout out to Rich Rich, man. Shout out to Rich Rich, man. Y'all know y'all could go tap in, man. Rich Rich on the Instagram. um, uh, It's heavy, man. Respect my ground. Rich Rich, you know, we... Uh, this all I wear. Right, I know, this, I see this, it. This, videos this, this, pulling yeah. up everywhere. Yeah, this is my, nigga, this my nigga clothing line, man. And, and he, he actually did time, too. You know what I'm saying? So he came home, and this is what he put his all into. Right. So I respected it. You know what There's I'm other saying? ways me, to me, me and his history ain't even crazy like that. Right. He just came home. I'm like, yo, bro, I respect what you're doing, bro. Like, you really, you really, right, right. you pushing this shit. I'm talking about, man, this nigga got everything. This nigga got socks. He got drawers. He Boxes, got hats. Everything. He got jackets, leathers. That nigga got jeans. He got everything. Like, he really moving. He right. really into the fashion. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, bro, he make he make clothes for every video I do. This mm. Juicy interview, he said, yo, bro, I, I, this, is, this was scheduled. As soon as I found out the right, date, right. I hit my bro. He said, bro, I'm about to make this jacket for you. Ah, uh, he made this jacket for me. Like, just yeah, nah, it's yeah, it's word the mother, jacket, turtleneck, all that. Like, yo, bro, yeah, this how you gonna go to Juicy. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, right. man, nigga, about to go fuck around, be my uh, be my stylist, stylist man. Yeah, shout man. the rich, sure, rich. Man. shout the rich, rich, man, for sure, man. Anything else? Anyone you want to shout out before we get out of here? Yeah, man, I just want to shout out. Uh, I want to shout out Rochester, New York, man, for real, man. Uh, the whole upstate New York, man. I want to shout out Mex. I want to shout out uh, Class. I want to shout out my brother Diddy, my brother Reem, the whole RMG, man, the whole BGM. Um, and yeah, man, the family, man, the family. Yo, anybody who ever listened to my music, anybody who ever uh, sent me a letter, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like, anybody who's ever in my corner, man, anybody who I, who, who I even the people that I don't talk to on a regular, man, just anybody who ever showed me love, man. Uh, shout out to y'all, man, for real. Man. <laughs> there it is. DJ Drewski, the new movement. We out. Bow.